I never thought AI would replace us one day, but oh boy, was I wrong. Wait, what? This is not what the studio looks like. What you see is not real, or at least a part of it isn't. The generative fill of Photoshop is getting stronger with every update, so here are three effects you can do using Premiere Pro and Photoshop. You're probably wondering how I did this. I mean, it's pretty awesome, right? First, make a video like this, but make sure you're entirely in frame, because if you put your hand out frame, you'll see it will ruin the effect. Now, go to the program monitor and click the export frame button. Type in your name or something else and choose a format. I recommend a TIFF file because these are lossless. That means the quality won't go down when you export it. And now it's time to launch Photoshop Beta. By the way, you can find it under Beta Apps in the Creative Cloud app. Once it's open, import your image. Now scale down the image. It doesn't really matter how much, but I like to set it to 70%. Now, go to the marquee tool and make a selection around your image. Leave a small edge to help Photoshop understand what materials it needs to use to extend the set. Now press Ctrl Shift I on your keyboard to invert the selection. That way everything except the image is selected. Click on generate a fill and then on generate. Photoshop now gives you three options. Just see which one is best for you. If none of them work, just click the generate button again. Now let's say I want to decorate my studio. That's where things get scary. Imagine we want to generate a sink. That, that can come in handy sometimes. Grab the lasso tool and draw a circle on the wall where you want it. Then click generate a fill and type in add sync or something. Click on generate and bam, that looks awesome. I also added some plants, peeling paint from the wall, a mask of an evil character, a chocolate bar and a book. Awesome, right? When you're done, you can disable the first layer because we don't need it anymore. Now it's time to export it and go back to Premiere. Hold down Control Shift Alt W. This will open up the export window. Choose PNG as file type and go to the bottom. Make sure Embed Color Profile is disabled. That way the colors will be exactly the same in the exported image. Drag it in Premiere and lay it on top of your video. As you can see, the scaling isn't right. That's because we scaled it down in Photoshop, remember? Select your video and go to the effect controls. Set the scale to the same as you did in Photoshop, which for me is 70. And that is awesome. In the next effect, we're gonna turn this boring industrial location into a tropical place. Of course, using generator fill. I just found this awesome sand overlay using the Storyblocks plugin, which I'm definitely gonna use on this one. Oh, and Storyblocks is also sponsoring this video, by the way. Thank you. The plugin works both in Premiere and After Effects. For example, templates. Find the one you like and click the download button. They will then appear in the essential graphics panel and before you know it, Bam. A very cool animation in just a few seconds. You can also browse through a million high quality royalty free stock assets all from inside Premiere. Stock videos of amazing drone shots anywhere in the world, space and planets, green screen clips to spice up your content and all of that in HD and 4K resolution. You can also download our videos that we've put on Storyblocks. We actually have our very own landing page full of videos specially made for you guys. Most of them are shot in a log profile, that way you have all the control when color grading the footage. Now on other stock websites you need to pay an expensive expensive price per clip, but on Storyblocks you will get everything for one set price. You can choose to pay monthly or annually. Don't you worry about copyright strikes or licensing issues, Storyblocks will take care of that. I've been using Storyblocks for so long now and I truly recommend it to any creative. So take back creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash premiere basics or just click the link below. All right, now let's get back to our set extension. First, you want to take a still by clicking the export frame button again and just save it somewhere. Then import the frame in Photoshop. Now to make the shot more interesting, grab the lasso tool and make a selection. Click on generate a fill. Let's say we want to add some trees. Click on generate and there we go. I added some on the sides as well. I also added a pool to the video because you know, tropical. And to give the industrial building some life, I added some tropical pictures to it. Keep going like this until your set is completely the way you like. Try to avoid moving objects like yourself, otherwise it can ruin the effect. When you're done, disable the layer on the bottom and export the picture. In Premiere, drag the picture on top of your video. That looks awesome, but it doesn't really feel alive. Luckily, there's an easy fix for that. Go to the effects library and find the turbulent displace effect. Drag it on top of your clip and head over to the effect controls. Go to turbulent displace and click the pen tool. We're gonna create a mess because we only want the trees and the water to move. Now go to the program monitor and create a mask around one of the trees. Now of course we also want the other trees to move and to do that click the pen tool again to create a second mask. Now simply draw a selection around the other trees as well. When everything is selected set the displacement to bulge. That one seems to work best for leaves. Decrease the size to something around 60. Then grab the playhead and set it on the first frame of the clip. Set an evolution keyframe. Then move further in time and increase it to 360 degrees. The amount actually depends on the length of your clip so definitely play around with it. Remember the sand 
overlay from Storyblocks, well, drag it on top of your video and go to the effect controls. In opacity, set the blending mode to screen or add. If needed, play around with the opacity as well. Since I'm a giant here, I also used our free earthquake pack to add some ground shakes. You can click the link below to check it out. That looks awesome. And now it's time for effect number three. Imagine you want to upload your effects as a short form content, but in order to fill the screen, you need to cut off important parts of the video. Not anymore. Again, import a still of your clip into a vertical Photoshop project. Scale it down until the edges on the left and right fit inside the workspace. Now grab the marquee tool and create a selection around the video. Again, leave a gap just like we did before and hit Ctrl Shift I to invert the selection. Now click generate a fill and then generate. There you go. It's that simple. Don't forget to hide the bottom layer and now import the image back in Premiere and scale down the original video. And now your clips are ready for short form content. But I'm actually wondering if you are ready. Finding short form content IDs can be really hard, which is why you can learn these three awesome effects in the video on my left. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.